Today is August 6, 2014, and I am Arizona Trader. I wanted to discuss a couple of trades I made today. Uh, the first trade is Kihu, which is a Chinese stock in the technology sector. It's uh, an IBD50 stock with a 99 composite rating, so it's the, the best of the best according to IBD standards. It had corrected something like over 30% during the first part of 2014 and has been channeling up nicely uh, since then. Um, it's been finding support around the 50-day moving average um, on each swing low, and I decided to uh, get in today um, while the markets were kind of flat. Um, I'm expecting it to rise again another 10% to the top of here as a minimum, so I'll probably like lock in a 10-11% a profit. My support levels are this swing low and this swing low right here in case uh, I need to get out. The uh, other purchase I made is NetEase, another uh, Chinese stock in the technology sector. Um, this was a former IBD 50 stock. It has a, a 97 composite rating, and it had run during 2013 something over 100 um, percent. And usually, when a stock runs up that high, it needs to take a break, and that's what it did during most of 2014. It had actually come from top to bottom corrected something around 33 to 34 percent. IBD says a, a, a legitimate base is somewhere between 15 and 35 percent so this is well within within range. Uh, since it's made this bottom it's been slowly moving back up and breaking this downtrend line breaking through this resistance area and uh, those were opportunities to make a uh, to buy. Uh, there was an early adva advanced early opportunity here and one here and one here on a bounce of the 50 uh, and uh, I missed all three. Um, it tried to break out here and failed. It's now coming back and testing the 20-day support, 20-day moving average for support. Um, so I got in um, today and I'm using the low of this range as my, uh, as my stop in case things turn around. NetEase reports earnings, I believe, next week or the week after. So unless I've got a huge cushion, I'll be out. Uh, I'll be out before then. And uh, the reason I did make these purchases was some action I saw in the major indices. Um, in a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that the uh, S&P 500 had been correcting, and as and as of Friday, had come down around a 38% uh, retracement level. I was expecting it to move down to the 50% retracement and then bounce back up if we're still going to be in, a, in an uptrend. Since then, it's just been chopped around. Um, but what I noted was um, today it opened up um, and formed a little, um, you want to call it a fat doji, it's more of a spinning top, I guess, and has defended Friday's low. So we may actually have seen a a bottoming process start here. The same thing with the with the Nasdaq. Uh, we opened up um, and started defending the Friday low here, which again might be putting in a, a bottoming uh, formation here, and then it might be off to the races. What I don't like about the Nasdaq are these long wicks here, which indicates to me that sellers are stepping in and keeping prices keeping prices down. Um, so over. Over the next few days, we'll see what happens with that. Um, so, based on those two uh, those two indices and the actions uh, defending Friday's low, I thought maybe we might start a move up, um, and that's why I made the decisions to get in early. The Russell 2000. Let me actually switch to the uh, ETF here. On Friday, I was predicting a move up to the uh, downtrend line here and then possibly back down to the 107 uh, support area just because the, the line of released resistance is down. Um, it tagged that downtrend line today and uh, moved close off of that line. So the next few days, we'll find out whether or not uh, we move down uh, towards 107 or we, we break through. And just because the volume is kind of low on that tag, I'm, I'm expecting us to go back down. But you never know. So that's it um, for now. I, am, I don't think I have anything else left to discuss, so good luck with your trading.